All right, guys, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we're going to talk about the difference between playing straight and hooking a bowling ball. Stay tuned. All right, so when we talk about playing straight and hooking a ball, uh, there's a lot of differences that go into it. Um, there's a lot of stuff with alignment, your eyes. Uh, so we're gonna talk about playing straight first. I'm gonna let Brad take this one over because <laughs> uh, I think he has, he's a little bit more of an expert on this situation. I wouldn't necessarily I call it. I don't think either one of us. I don't. I, no. There's not a whole lot of people in the bowling industry nowadays that are experts that are like solid. It's kind of, playing. It's kind of a loss. I mean, straight. Straight. I mean, we look at guys like Norm Duke that play straight, and he even says there's people who play straighter, which is mind-boggling to me. But I know we talked to Norm, and he's like, there's only three guys out here that even know how to play straight, and only two of them are good, and I'm one of them. So, yeah, we bowled in one pattern. He's like, the senior tour would whoop all you guys on this pattern because they got to play straight. Um, but there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of feel things that have to go on at the foul line. But before we get to the foul line, we got to be lined up correctly because that really dictates how we feel and how we go through the release portion of playing straight or hooking it. So when looking at being lined up, if you're actually trying to have straighter angles, if you're trying to throw it more directly in front of you and less hook, well then you have to line up that way. You can't expect the ball to go more in front of you if your hips are open and your body angle is tilted toward, I guess, if you're over there to the right, the next lane over. Yeah, if you're right-handed. Um, whereas if you're hooking the ball, you do want to be more open because that's the direction that the yeah. ball is going to go into. So it's definitely, you have, to, you have to train your body and your eyes to look in front of you, and that's much different than how the game is played today yes. in, in a big way. Um, so it definitely takes some practice, but there, if becoming a good straight player has uh, a lot of value, considering that a lot of players nowadays hook the ball so much that when straight is in play and you're good at it, you've got a real big advantage over your opponents. So I want to go into something how I would set up if I was playing uh, a little bit straighter. Okay, so when you're lining up, it can be strange to line up for more closed straighter angles because they're so used to hooking it that sometimes you may need to overemphasize what you're trying to do. So when you line up, at least make sure that your feet are in the exact same direction as the boards. You want everything going forward. Normally when you hook the ball, you're a little bit more open because you want the ball to go that way. Um, but when you're playing straight, it's imperative to make sure that the angle of your body is at least going in the direction that you want the ball. Sometimes, especially when you hook the ball so much, especially like Kyle, you got to overemphasize that sometimes it's okay to actually have your body pointed to the left. So right now, if I was playing straight, uh, I'm, my body is actually lined up to the left part of the entire rack. So I'm facing the four and the seven pin, which is perfectly fine because you have to do whatever you can do to make sure your ball gets going online. Yeah, I think it's important to note that, especially with today's technology and the balls hook so much, that we're always used to hooking the ball. So subconsciously, you may think you're playing straight, but you're actually still bellying the ball a little bit. So that's why sometimes moving your eyes even what I would describe as uncomfortably far left, where you feel like you're just pointed at the head pin, the actual res actual result is going to be straighter up the lane. Yeah, exactly. When I watch Norm play straight and I try to do that, my ball just always goes a little bit farther out little, to the right. Yeah, I just, can't. Just <laughs> guides a little bit out to the right. So. All right, so when I line up, I'm just going to make sure, and normally when I'm playing really straight, I kind of tuck my the angle of my feet toward the left to the four and seven pin. Make sure my hips are in that exact same direction because when I walk, I'm gonna naturally open up a little bit. So I'm just kind of overemphasizing the, the closed hips. Uh, and then you set up normally. You kind of do everything normally. The setup kind of uh, allows you to, to do everything normally because you're so closed that when you get to the normal aspect of the approach, you should be in line with where you want the ball to go. So lined up to the left, hips pointed to the left. Everything kind of square, yep. Uh, make sure that the hips and the, the shoulders stay closed throughout the whole thing. As the second we open up, the ball is going to want to go to the right. So we got to make sure everything's pretty closed, stay through. Um, it's okay to keep pointing at the four and seven pin, and we're just going to roll with it. Oh my God. <laughs> See that ball go to the right? <laughs> All right, so that's, that's a perfect scenario. That ball went too far to the right, which tells me immediately that I was open. There's no way that ball is going out to the right with me being closed. 
Um, so just just pay attention. If you're if you're lining up and you're trying to play straight and the ball keeps going to the right, well that tells you everything you know. You're, you're yeah. Too so open. try another shot here. Well, obviously, you know this is something that you would probably say that this is a weakness in oh. your game oh. as far as playing straight. So now, obviously, you didn't do a great job of staying close, and then now you got to make the adjustment. Yeah. And it's, it's not a matter of the greatest bowlers do it the best, they just pay attention. If the ball goes out to the right, they understand that they're more open and they yeah. make gradual changes until they get to where they need to be. So, we're gonna do that again. Everything's pointed at the four and seven. We're just gonna make sure I stay closed this time. And so, that, well, was, that was close. That was much straighter to the front. <laughs> Obviously, right now, what we're bowling on it isn't perfect for it, but yeah. uh, that, that's the difference. It's like the first one I saw go out to the right, uh, showed me everything I needed to know. Second one, made sure I overcorrected it, made sure I stayed firm with where I was looking, uh, and that one actually went to exactly where I was looking. And, and if you're, and we, you guys, you don't have to necessarily point your body towards like the four and seven. That's just exaggerating the feel that you need to have. The idea is that when you're, during your approach, you need to stay closed the entire time. The more those shoulders open up, the more you're going to want to get that ball to the right. And I think it's a good time to segue into kind of how to hook the ball and how we need to create shape. Perfect. So I'm going to take this one over, guys. So this is my bread and butter. This, this is all wheelhouse. Basic principles of when we're wanting to hook the ball is that we do need to open up. Our shoulders and our hips, at some point in the approach, have to open up so our swing plane and target can go to the right. If we stay closed the entire time, if I am in a very closed position here the entire time, it's going to be very hard for my ball to want to get to the right. But if I open up here, I can now, my hips, my shoulders are all pointing to the right and helping my swing plane guide that ball to the right. So you're gonna notice in my approach, and you know, I'm a little bit more of an exaggerated, but I'm extremely open, and that's why I like to shape the ball, because it's very natural for me. But that is how you do it. You gotta have some kind of variation of opening up your hips, opening up your shoulders, and guiding that ball to the right. So when I'm really trying to open up and guide the ball to the right, I'll actually drop my right leg back a little bit, because now in my stance, when I do that, you'll see it it opens up my hips naturally from the very beginning. So now I'm in a stance that is already allowing me to just guide that ball to the right. Now during the approach, I'm gonna open up my shoulders, my hips are gonna be open, and the ball is just gonna float to the right. So right foot back a little bit. Hopefully I can get more than Brad got. Here we go. Ooh. That's a much better line to be playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no excuses, fam. Yeah, just straight. I'm just look. terrible at playing straight, I guess. <laughs> so there you go, guys. A little bit difference in the, the techniques to throw it straight and hooking. A lot of it starts with the basic fundamentals in the approach and setting yourself up for the angle that you need to be playing. You know, there's if you're setting up in a very open stance and you're trying to play straight, it's going to be very difficult to execute that angle that you're trying to play. And one quick thing to end it, when you are playing straight, higher ball speed, less grab, less revs, really promotes a, a healthier relationship. And then when you're, when you're hooking the ball, slower ball speed, more revs, uh, definitely goes along with hooking the ball rather than playing straight. So just a couple different feels to, to think about. Straighter and firmer, uh, hooking it, uh, slower ball speed really helps with uh, getting the ball to hook back.